first we're starting with a DIY bookends. They don't have to be boring or expensive. Audrey of the Oh So Lovely blog is here with a creative way to use old toys. Welcome That's back. Right. Thank you. This is such a cute idea. How difficult is it It's though? actually pretty easy. The hardest part is I will say is cutting these little animals in half. Okay. So you can go to your favorite craft store or even a dollar store. I got this guy at the dollar store. And you can use a couple different things. I used this to start, and it took a long time. What is that? It's, I don't know what it's actually called. It's a little handsaw that I had. It might, maybe I should have sharpened it a little more. It took me quite a while, and my cuts are perfect. It's a little rusty. Okay. It is. And then I switched over to, I don't even know what the other saw is. My husband wasn't even home. I just plugged it in and kind of went through it. But if okay. you have an actual table saw, right. this would go so much smoother. So that's on my list of things I want to buy. Okay. So, long so you can short, make more bookends. Yes, ends. you can make more and better cuts if you use like, a table saw. Okay. But I ended up using the hand one. So this guy here. All I did was cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And you can just actually butt it up to the books. As you see, it's holding the books up. And if Wait, you, have, you don't have anything else? No, on it's there? just the two animals leaning up oh. against the books. Okay, so you spray paint it first? Yeah, I actually spray paint it first, but I recommend cutting it first and then spray painting after because okay. you're going to have to do a touch up coat anyway. Sure. So you could even put these, butt these up against the shelf and then just have the, the bottom oh. come out. You can have this on a different shelf too. So there's oh, different options. Okay. But there's also another way you can do it. I, at the same craft store, I just bought these little blocks. I don't even know what, they, what they're called, but they're like a dollar each. They came like this? Yeah, and I just oh. spray, sprayed them gold to match. And you could use any color or even just leave them natural. Okay. Um, so what I did is I found some epoxy. It's kind of stinky, but it's definitely... It smells know, it's, like a perm in here. It does. A perm is a good way to put it. Um, then you just, what I did is I just marked on here. I held, I did a little dinosaur cut in half, and I kind of held up to it and to see how it would stand, and then I just marked Great. it with a pencil. And this guy I did right when I got here. It's still trying to kind of setting up a little bit, okay. but you just kind of stick it in here in about maybe 20 minutes. It'll be completely formed, and then you... So okay, so just here. put one on both yeah. sides so again. This, and you can put your books in between here and you know you can do the other side. Okay. So I can show you really quickly how to do that with the Now can kids do this? Is this safe for kids? I think kids could help maybe pick out the toy. Yeah. Because it's involving spray paint and yeah. then some kind of sharp object. So maybe they can help <laughs> you set it up on the books, but yeah, it's not one of those super kid friendly. And projects. you could do these in so many different colors, yeah, match you can. a room. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, and I recommend spray paint that kind of is made, made for plastic. It kind of adheres oh, okay. better and stays on better. I just use my metallic gold. But you can also use just, I found these in the garage, just scrap wood I've mm -hmm. spray painted. Instead of these, if you don't want to go out and buy ah. something, you can use these guys. Same thing. You just epoxy them up to it, and it kind of gives them a little bit of weight. But I personally kind of like just the Just the simple, animal. Yeah, and you can move it around really easily. What what do these add to a bookshelf? I think it just adds some character and personality. I mean, you know, I, I have a bookshelf dedicated to a lot of quirky, colorful books and mm -hmm. things like that, and I just love it brings personality into the room. And you, we made another really cool thing last time yeah. you were here. Show these again. Yeah, I They're bring so these fun. Back. I made these couple segments ago. All you do is you buy the same animals. This is an easier project. You spray them, you drill a couple holes with a drill, and you can get real or faux. I used faux succulents and just stick them right down in there and kind of fill in with some moss. But it's a really They're cute so statement. They're so silly piece. and fun. They are, I yeah. love them all. Audrey, thanks so room. much. You're welcome.